Oh, I'm Victor, uh, build Technic primarily, and here I have a prototype of one of my uh, more recent models. Uh, this is going to be a binary clock in the end. Right now, only one of the digits is working. The whole idea of a binary clock is that we still represent time, but in a way that a computer could probably understand it. So we convert all the individual digits that go from zero to nine into ones and zeros that the computer would understand as uh, electricity being present or absent. So it's a com combination of two different types of nerd. It's a uh, it's, it's Lego nerd and then it's a computer and electrical nerd. So yeah, right now just one of them is working. I have to completely redesign part of the mechanism and then I'm hoping to actually add seconds on to here because right now it's just hours and minutes. Can you talk about some of the technology and kind of how this thing runs and what, what the technology behind it is? Yeah, so the majority of it is just uh, timing of gearing. So I just have a lot of the uh, Technic treads working as physical memory. So there are little bushings attached to there and those will uh, flip a switch either way, uh, signaling on or off or a one or a zero. So it's, it's really just a lot of the same technique repeated over and over and then just a bunch of gearing to connect it all together. What inspired you to do a build like this? It was actually uh, Alexander who has all these moving parts over here. Uh, a couple of years ago he showed off a seven segment display that operated on the same principle. And I thought, wait, what if we make a clock out of this? But his seven segment display had, as much, had a lot of different, uh, it actually basically had two banks of these just to control one digit. And I figured, all right, I could probably make this a binary clock and then two years later, here I am with this prototype. Yeah, what's, what's the hardest part of designing a build like this? Obviously, you've got moving parts and all of that and trying to figure out how all that works. What's, what was the hardest part for you? Uh, the hardest part for me was making sure the gearing was right. Uh, I really like to operate on tight space constraints. So part of, it, part of that was making sure the gearing was tight, like as compact as possible, as simple as possible. Um, and then the carry mechanism is my most current problem, and that's going to be solved in the next prototype. Well, that's very impressive. Thanks for talking with us about it. Appreciate it. Yep.